Screw on iTunes and rejected Bloom's ideas. BT Battles 2, there's an awesome new multi feature. It's now able to follow me out with which you can defend rushes.com in, in an instant, but in BT6, the feature has been rejected. What if you could have different animals fighting for the monkeys? We had these in BT5 with a special agent where we'd have giant elephants that could stomp the balloons, but this idea was rejected because the monkeys already do a good enough job. A lot of people think that the game is going to be limited to the current properties and immunities that we have, and that would make sense as we have enough of them and more would just make it a little bit too complicated, but Ninja Kiwi says that we can get even more in the future. On Alchemist with a spike pool, we have cool invention to be able to throw the potions further and buff the monkeys from across the map, but Ninja Kiwi says that it didn't really work out. The Engineer Paragon got out about a year ago, but people were very, very mad about it because of one thing that was missing, it couldn't buff any towers at all, except for itself, of course, and Ninja Kiwi have way too much on their plate, so they won't be making it. The cover was introduced into Battles 2, another cool feature from Battles 1 that could be into the game is the old Battles TV that lets you watch other players whilst they're battling. And Ninja Kiwi says that they have some big plans, but not related to that, so they half rejected it, I guess. The Blue Day device in BT5 does a lot of damage, but it's also very slow, and people want it in BT6, whoever knows what it does, though. But Ninja Kiwi says that the monkeys are way too focused on Paragons to ever even think about bringing it back. The Beach Thunder is a great tower, but we don't have any monkey knowledge points for it. I think the best one would be to be able to keep the 000 Beast Thunder attack even later on, which would be very useful for the earlier upgrades. Ninja Kiwi says that they would want to, but don't have any plans, which most of the time means no. The Bloons are always the ones attacking the monkeys, and they're coming into our lands, but why not have the monkeys? attack the blue cities, though this would make them the villains, which Ninja Kiwi doesn't like. The Bruce Doctors can reanimate a lot of types of balloons going as far as a BFB, but what if he was able to reanimate monkeys? Wait, no, 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 no. Ninja Kiwi has already used fan-made ideas for maps, and they're really cool, but they haven't added any fan-made heroes or towers, and they don't plan to do so as well. Balloons has a lot of special towers and appearances in it, like Dr. Monkey, Professor Evil, Agent Jericho, and also special agents, but those aren't coming to BT6. Bloom C6 is such an awesome game and has everything that anyone could imagine, but what if it became a movie or maybe even a book? Well, Ninja Kiwi isn't really a fan of that idea, so it's not gonna happen. The Bloom's universe has ninjas and ninja kiwis, and they were awesome at their job, but there are not gonna be any more ninja-based towers. The cave, mon the cave monkey is not that good of a tower. It can only stun Bloom's, but not do a lot of damage, which is why the community has suggested to give it upgrades that make it as powerful as a normal tower, but Ninja Kiwi said no. People have suggested being able to upgrade the Paragon's degrees on the ones that you've already placed down, as this would allow for more late game possibilities, but Rohan has denied this. The Blue Exclusion Zone doesn't have any lead popping power, even though it's expensive, it does a lot of damage, and the community wants it to have lead popping power, of course, but this has been denied as it's already used a ton. Players have been wanting a Gerardo skin for over a year, but it would be very difficult to make, as Rohan said, a Gerardo skin. Dear lord. People have wanted boss music for every single boss since they had Blenaris and Lich, but Ninja Kiwi doesn't want bosses like Voters to have their own music because they are them, I guess. 